2018 Kia Optimus Sports Wagon Review. The Good Points of Kia Optimus Sports Wagon. Added Practicality. Smart Looks. Solid Cabin. Loads of Kit. The Bad Points of Kia Optimus Sports Wagon. Expensive upper grades. Auto is slower. Only one engine for the present time. The most surprising thing in regards to the new Kia Optimus Sports Wagon is usually that the Korean manufacturer hasn't made one before. Even sister company Hyundai features a wagon in this particular segment, the i40 Tourer getting larger against the old benchmark Ford Mondial Estate and slinkle-looking Mazda 6 Estate. With its sights set firmly for the company car market, Kia is looking for new customers just for this pragmatic and smartly styled estate. Similar trim levels to saloon with many different kit. Even in tray level 2 cars come packed out with equipment, including the 7-inch Satan of system, reversing camera. Aircon and cruise control. From there, you may upgrade to three spec last but not least a sporta looking GT Line S, distinguished by way of a subtle body kit and larger alloy wheels. Top spec cars like a generous equipment list, including items like wireless phone charging, 360 degree camera, automatic parking, adaptive cruise control, and bright LED headlights. Diesel engine with low CO2. For the time being, there exists only one engine, a 60 minute.7 liter diesel, till the performance e biased petrol GT arrives in 2017. The standard unit should interest fleet drivers though, with 113 GKM of CO2, just 3 grams in excess of the saloon. In fact Kia reckons three quarters of Optima Sports wagons goes to company car drivers. Manual cars also crack the 062 miles per hour sprint in under 10 seconds, together with the diesel motor providing suitable mid-range punch for overtaking. Added practicality. The most evident benefit of the revolutionary estate is its larger boot. You receive 552 liters while using rear seats up and 1,686 liters using them down. There are common manner of tie down possibilities to help you get the most from the space out back, along with a couple of underfloor trays for keeping valuable items from sight. We ran one to be a long-termer for a few months how did we on? For the time being there's one engine offered, a 1 hour.7 liter diesel engine offered with two different gearboxes. Diesel engine Carried over in the saloon is Kia's 1.7-liter Cardi turbocharged diesel engine, which develops 141 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. Thanks to standard fit stop start technology, it is possible to expect just a small penalty regarding CO2, using the estate producing only 3 GKM over the saloon, which has a manual gearbox. Fuel economy for both versions is claimed to stay the low 60s, again with all the manual box performing better. The final victory for your self shifter could be the benchmark 062 miles per hour sprint, that this completes in 9.8 seconds compared with all the autos 10.7 seconds. In reality, while neither feels blisteringly fast, there's a lot of mid-range shove that will help you complete overtaking maneuvers as well as a keenness get started from a standstill. The only area where this engine falls down a little in is in outright urgency at higher speeds, largely partially to the longer ratios and the higher gears. Two gearboxes Available around the first two trims is really a six-speed manual gearbox that goes about its business with deftness and precision. It's not essentially the most soul-stirring thing to work but it's simple to operate and snicks between rations using a pleasing action. The more costly seven-speed dual-clutch automatic comes while using top two trims and give you the number of normal, 
eco and sport modes, consuming the transmission shifts and throttle response. Sport setting accelerates the shifts and in addition gives the box more urgency to lower down a gear or two responding to a jab in the throttle. You also can grab their hands on two controls mounted paddles to consider control in the gearbox should you desire, but we found it worked alright by itself. Not a regular Kia strong point but a region where the Korean manufacturer is keen for making up ground on its rivals much like the Ford Mondeo. The Optimus Boris Wagon retains the saloon suspension architecture but uses a unique spring and damper rates meaning you will get a comparable ride quality and driving example of either model, regardless of the larger car's rearward bulk far better center of gravity. It's not much of a class leading steer but seems to keep pace together with the competition with increased aptitude than previously in particular the updated traction control system which doesn't step in quite so aggressively. Grip levels are great and there's less body roll than you would expect from your car in this type. The steering feels linear and accurate thanks with a special power steering motor, which reacts more right to your inputs and provides you a better feel with the road. The Optimus Boris wagon has got the same dashboard layout because the saloon, using the buttons and central screen aimed towards driver. The touch screen is quite responsive and spelled out in and simple to navigate manner. Fit and take care of is to some high standard, and then there's a nice lack of cheap plastic or rattling trim panels. There are lots of buttons around the wheel through the gear shift though, particularly high spec cars that come which has a lot of kit. The upside of the slightly cluttered look is you are able to find the seat ventilation controls without looking. Satin chrome trim looks smart and doesn't glare under sunshine, and everything closes or operates which has a pleasing and well-engineered thunk. The smartphone wireless charger entirely on higher trims is angled away from your driver and lessening distractions and your device from hovering the cabin over a spirited drive. Lots of seals and insulation within the front on the cabin help in keeping the wind and engine noise out, providing a nicely hushed environment at anything below high motorway speeds. Engine noise itself is largely absent on the cockpit, with little sound or vibration entering over the front from the car unless you're really ringing the 1.7-liter diesel engine hard. The suspension isolates slumps and bumps inside the road well without thumping around plus the ride is very well judged, despite a whole new focus on driver enjoyment. Equipment levels within the Kia Optimus Force Wagon broadly continue with the saloon car's specification, with grades named 2, 3 and GT Line S. Standard Kia Optimus Force Wagon Equipment Matching standard equipment with all the saloon means you will get lots for the money, and several estate specific sly roof rails, a luggage area DC power socket, on a touch folding rear seats, a luggage partition and towing connection preparation. Entry level 2 specification gets a 7 inch Satan of system with European mapping along with a reversing camera, plus either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The leather tire gains stereo controls, plus you will discover front and rear USB ports, dual zone automatic aircon with some other settings for driver and passenger, cruise control with speed limiter, electrically heated folding mirrors plus a six speaker DAB radio system with Bluetooth music streaming. Outside you will discover 17 inch alloy wheels and LED daytime running lights. Upgrade to level 3 and you have a luggage rail system, boot lip protector and privacy glass inside the rear. The Satan of screen grows to 8 inches as well as the driver's seat gains 8 away power adjustment and heating. You buy 18 inch alloy wheels, chrome and the entire body color exterior door handles and LED front fog lights. Best of all would be the Harman Kardon premium sound system as well as a powered tailgate. Top trim would be the sporty GT Line S, that's distinguished by its subtle body kit and 18-inch wheels. 
You also receive a wireless cell phone charger, 360-degree parking camera, automatic parking, adaptive cruise control, along with a tilt-slide panoramic sunroof. Bright LED headlights join dynamic cornering lights, plus black leather upholstery with ventilated front seats, a brilliant key with illuminated start-stop button and ambient interior lighting. While the Kia Optimus Sports Wagon itself hasn't been crash-tested by Euro and Cap, the saloon gained a 5-star rating in the event it was assessed. So there's pointless to assume the estate will probably be any less safe. Just over half with the body is manufactured out of high-strength steel, plus you have six airbags and electronic stability control as standard. The level of driver assistance tech varies with trim level but you may get lots of kit including autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, smart cruise control, blind spot detection, lane keep assist, rear cross traffic alert, 360 degree view camera and automatic parking. You'd expect a substantial estate car to perform well here therefore you'd be right. A sizable 55 21 comma 686 liter boot seats up down gives you lots of room to pack it things into and you will find a number of different lashing and IE down options because you climb the trims. There's a great deal of room up front and back passengers do quite nicely too, providing they're not tall and sitting behind a tall driver. The middle pew is a little cramped nevertheless, you should expect to carry four adults in comfort.